Hey guys, it's Emmanuel here. I'm gonna keep this really short because I'm actually kind of uh, quite annoyed right now. But I think it's a perfect setting for me to record this video because when I'm, I just had this uh, thought in my mind through all this. As you can hear in the background, uh, my three-year-old daughter is is crying right now, and the reason she's crying is because uh, I put her there for her to calm down. Because uh, and some of you, you know, are not gonna <laughs> agree with some of the things I do, and that's fine, okay? But I wanted to learn. Uh, that, you know, she has to, um, basically certain things, she was kind of fussing about certain things, and I'm trying to, you know, teach her she can't just cry her way through things, so I need her to calm down, and I know there are books, you know, there are moms out there, and my wife tell me this kind of stuff, that, you know, there's certain minutes and all that kind of stuff, all right, so I'm just, I'm not going to talk about that. What I'm trying to say is, well, as she is crying, I was telling my wife, you know, I'm not going to go down there to the washroom and get her unless she calms down and stops crying, kind of like right now. Okay, serenity. Oh, there we go. Pick it up again. And I'm thinking, how many times is it like our spiritual walk, right? That we're crying out, we're telling God how, you know, this is going to be done now, this way. I, I want it here. This is exactly what she's doing. She's yelling on top of her lungs saying, da, da. Now, I'm not trying to be cruel here. I really want to learn the lesson that she needs to um, be able to be respectful and, and learn uh, that crying is not a way for for anything in life you know try that when you're like 20 years old you're gonna cry in front of your boss your friends you know because you have something that that you failed at unfortunately that's what a lot of people do in life today they blame other people they don't take responsibilities and they just want to you know either just ignore things or cry their way out and so i just want to remind you guys maybe sometimes the best way for us to approach god through a certain thing that we're trying to ask or pray for perhaps is to just be silent Calm ourselves down, take ourselves back, and realize that He is God. Be still and know that He is God. Because when we're, just like that uh, analogy that you heard of, uh, a lifeguard cannot save someone's life if they're drowning, if they keep on uh, uh, you know, trying to battle and, and fight and, and, and stay afloat. You know, uh, uh, they have to, some even have to knock them out in order to save them so that they're not fighting anymore and they can be saved. So it's the same thing, you know, for someone who doesn't even know Jesus, uh, it's the fact that, you know, we have to recognize that we can offer nothing. We bring nothing to the table. It's only through God that we can find grace. And I just want to encourage you with that word. Have you been trying to really fight for something, push for something? I'm not saying you shouldn't set goals, have plans. You should do that. But I'm saying if you're not achieving the results you want or you're praying for something for a long time, you're just fighting, you're just going there, uh, I would suggest you just come before God. Be still, unplug everything, take away all distractions, and seek Him because it's only like right now. When I don't really hear a lot of noise, that's when I'm going to go down and get her and tell her that I love her, hug her, and, and you know give her love that way. But perhaps, perhaps, maybe not all the time, but perhaps God cannot do that with us when we're still crying, when we're still trying to fight. He cannot give the things that we want um, when we're still doing that kind of thing. So I want to bless you in Jesus' name. Okay, uh, may you and I learn that principle in the spiritual realm. Um, and I just love being a parent. I mean, if you're a parent, bless you. May you raise your children to the ways of the Lord because being a father, more and more day, uh, daily, I learn more things about the heart of God. Obviously, it's not 100%, but little by little, I understand that. Okay, so be blessed and uh, I'll take care and I'll talk to you soon.